Ah, howdy, howdy folks, how's it going? I'm Attic Goblin and today we are making fried chicken! Yay! Um, first you want to take one bowl, stir it for a while, contemplate the bowl in us, see how it looks, see it shine. Then, take an egg, crack it, crack it, put it in the bowl. Do this many times. Um, I'm using four eggs, just because I like a lot, and with it being uh, drumsticks, they are quite thick. So I need enough to be able to cover them. Now, add some milk. Yeah. Whisk it. Kill the eggs. Whisk it. Come on. Whisk it like you mean it. I whip my eggs back in. Oh no, I don't think that. That's terrible. Okay, once it's all nicely whipped up and, and mixed and lovely, put that to the side. We like to put our bowls to the side, as you may know by now. Next, take your stone bowl. Um, you can use already ground ingredients for this. It does make it a lot easier, I suppose, but some of them I couldn't get hold of ground ones, so... We're going to ground them ourselves. Plus it's fresher, tastier. Yes. A quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, or about seven cloves. I think it's seven. And tell your cloves off. Nutty cloves. You've been bad. You need to go in the bowl. Now, if you can get some ground cardamom, I have a quarter teaspoon of that, or four pods. It's about right. Now, you squishy. 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 Hit them with a stone. Yes. If you're grinding them yourselves, you're gonna have to take the shells out for the cardamom, because it won't grind up and it'd be weird. Okay, next we want a quarter teaspoon of parsley. That's very nice. There we go. In the bowl. Quarter teaspoon of paprika. Paprika, paprika. A quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Come on, Mr. Nutmeg. The spoon doesn't fit in the bowl. There we go. Quarter teaspoon. Now you want a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. A quarter teaspoon of turmeric. There's a lot of quarter teaspoons in this. Um, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder if you can if you want to use garlic cloves you can just use like two large ones or two, well no two medium ones would be about right you have to grind them up but I want to use garlic powder I want to quarter teaspoon of celery seed or celery salt either is either is good if you use salt just um, lower the amount of actual salt you're putting in now we want some vanilla I'm using about half a pod. If you're using dried vanilla or ground vanilla, um, yeah, just under a quarter teaspoon. If you're using a pod, just take the knife and run it down very carefully. Careful. Knife is sharp. Careful. Peel it open. Peel it open. Do the scrapey scrape. Use the sharp end of the knife and just scrape out the seeds. Yeah, about like that. And they can go in the bowl. In you go. Not till I've pointed them. Okay, give this a grinding mixiness. Next, you want about an eighth of a, sp of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Else. Now about an eighth of a teaspoon of basil. Um, a full teaspoon, sorry. What am I about? And a teaspoon of ginger powder. Um, you can use fresh ginger again if you want. Um, I'd use a good sized knob. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
but then you need to grind it up. Grind it up. Grind it up. Now, put some salt. About half a teaspoon should do. Maybe a little less. There we go. In the salt goes. Don't know why I said that so close to the mic. That was weird. Um, next, we want coarse pepper. Three tablespoons. I know this seems like an awful lot, and you're, gonna, you're thinking, "Wow, that means that's going to be spicy." But no, it it really dilutes it down. Any less, and you won't be able to taste that. There won't be any pepper in there. You, it, I don't know. It, it, it's weird. You want three tablespoons? Trust me. And then we want to mix it with the grindiness. Um, if you're using powdered, like ground ginger already, use a bit less. I'd say maybe two, two tablespoons. But I guess I've never used ground. Uh, yeah, ground sort of. Don't fully know. Experiment is your next use to make fried chicken constantly. Is that a really good mix? Okay. Now do not taste this. It's bad. Trust me. It's very bad. Now in a very big bowl. You want big because you want to be able to move all your chicken and stuff around. You want two cups of flour. Uh, uh, plain flour. Don't use self-raising go very wrong. I have tried many things on this recipe, trying to get it right. And then put in the ground spices. Give it a good mix. In fact, I think instead of mixing it with a spoon, I'm going to use a whisk. Whisk. Really mix it up. Spade the ball. Whisk the up. In the bowl, whisk this stuff. Yay, mix it on. It's all mixing good. Okay, next, I'm going to take your chicken, and we're making two types of chicken. We're going to do chicken drumsticks, and we're also going to make some popcorn chicken. Why not? Because we like both. I prefer the drumsticks, but why not make popcorn chicken? Um, cooking times vary very differently. You want 10 to 15 minutes if it's on the bowl, and 8 to 10 minutes for popcorn chicken. The sizes are a lot bigger and uh, different as well, I suppose. If you want to trim your chicken, you don't want no weird fatty or rubble bits. You want the fat from beef and stuff like that, not chicken. Now give it a little slap. There we go. Cut it into strips like this. Now into little pieces. However big you want your pieces, you know, going around about that bite size. Maybe slightly larger, but spared. With the amount of mix I've made, I'm doing um, 15 drumsticks and two breasts. So it's quite a lot of mix. If you, if you don't need that much chicken, then you can um, half the recipe. Just you can eat it cold as well, the day after, whatever you don't eat. It's yummy, as long as you keep it in the fridge. Don't keep it in the cupboard. It's not where you keep chicken. Now you want to just fill your drumsticks. That's it. Them a nice, nice little shave in case they have uh, the ends of hairs and stuff on, which is weird. Sometimes you get them when they do. That's great. Okay. So, I've already done some and got some in and like leaving it to soak, um, which is why there's egg yolk everywhere. But I forgot to turn the camera on because it's stupid. So, let's try this again, shall we? 
to take the drumstick, put it in the egg mix, and into the flour. Bury it. Around it. There we go. Now you see the trick. Most people would start frying it then straight after. The trick is to let it sit in the flour for a bit. Say four to five minutes just so that it can soak up the flour. That way it gives a thicker skin and crust. I mean, come on, when you're making fried chicken, the, the, the crust is the best bit, man. I don't just eat the crust sometimes. Yes, you want to do this with everything. Go for a little swim in the egg yolks, Mr. Leg. And then into the floweriness of spicy goodness. Yes! Some of you may be wondering why my camera has the two black lines down the side. That's because my camera has decided it does not want to record in widescreen anymore. It wants to record like that. But anyway, put your chicken drumsticks in the fat at 170. Um, as I say, for around 10 to 15 minutes. And if you're unsure whether or not it's cooked, poke it with a fork. Not, not while well, it's in the fat though. Take it out of the fat, then poke it with a fork. Um, after, give it a minute or two when you first put it in and then take it out, give it a little shake, pop it back in for the rest of the time. If you're cooking large batches, like me, because I can only cook three at a time, which is a bit annoying, reduce the cooking time accordingly. So I'm going to do the first of the three for 10 minutes, the next three for 11 minutes, the next three for 12 minutes, and then, and so on and keep them in the oven um, on uh, a gas mark 3 yeah I've got it on gas mark 3 um, just to keep them warm and to finish them off okay so I've got the popcorn chicken there as I said popcorn chicken um, about 8 to 10 minutes to cook you can you can generally tell with the outside and then we've got the nice drumsticks and some corny, corny cob because I like the conny cob with my chicken. Okay, so that's my recipe for fried chicken. I hope you guys like it. It's really good. Uh, th and I think that's it for today. I will speak to you guys in the next video. Cheers for watching, mateys. Join the Goblin Army. Bye-bye.